The Constitutional Review Commission led by Kavma Kabenga has presented its draft that saw Uganda Olympic Committee members gather at Lugogo, passing it without any resistance. Among other changes, it's on the term limit, which has made a big change in the old constitution beside the wording in different articles. Members considered the term of office for the president to be two terms, with each term remaining at four years. It's only the late Major General Francis Nyangos who had a chance to lead Uganda Olympic Committee where term limits were not considered. Members felt we should have term limits because of good governance. Uh, if someone has, has been able to serve for eight years, then he could leave stage and that one does not stop him from continuing as an executive. It's the International Olympic Committee now awaited to endorse the constitution and third days later, Uganda Olympic Committee goes for polls. Members agreed to change the Uganda Olympic Committee logo and after picking one, they are now awaiting the International Olympic Committee to approve it. Despite of the members agreeing on each and every issue, time came when some wanted to know why some associations are not considered for the national budget. It's only the Uganda Olympic Committee President William Brick who stopped the debate since members were attacking National Council of Sports. It's all originated from Uganda Tennis Association Chairman Cedric Babu who complained of having lost the local courts because of non-payment saying that youth tennis development is now in danger. For National Council of Sports to uh, give away um, the facility including the tennis courts to uh, be a distributor um, I think it was done in bad faith and it has no bearing on the development of tennis in this country. Um, the way forward is very simple. We work on that facility, most especially the tennis courts, and to allow full access, especially to children, um, to run, run tennis programs. What the National Council of Sports is doing is really stabilizing sports. Efforts to talk to the National Council of Sports General Secretary Jasper Gawis that respond to the allegations of not finding some sessions has been futile. James Manja, TV, Kampala.